Hi, I'm Daphne Richards. Our question this week is how to fend off insects that damage trees. In the summer of 2010, our friend Bob Harper sent us leaves from his red oak tree. As we reported then, these are leaves that were skeletonized by feeding insects. At that point, it was too late to do anything since the insects were long gone. So pesticides would have been completely useless. We advised Bob to keep the tree healthy because it would grow new leaves the next spring if it wasn't too stressed by other factors. Recently, Bob's neighbor Richard sent us pictures of the tree, now back to full health. To fend off damaging insects, this is the time of year that we can spray horticultural oil on our fruit trees as a necessary preventative or other trees that have had problems to naturally control overwintering insects, especially in their egg, larva, and nymph stages. Horticultural oils, also known as dormant oils because they should only be used when plants are dormant, can also control many fungal pathogens, pathogens by blocking their access to t tender plant tissues where they can easily invade. It's really a good idea to keep an eye out for pathogenic cycles. While some trees and shrubs are continually invaded by the same pests year after year, other pest cycles are only a problem on occasion and so wouldn't warrant much attention on an annual basis. An example would be live oak trees and insect galls. Galls may be very prevalent on your live oak in some years, but the very next year you may have none. And anyway, these galls are not really susceptible to insecticides and usually don't cause enough damage to warrant any sort of treatment. Our pick of the week is lettuce. Thanks to master gardener Cheryl Williams for this great picture from her garden. If you're not a vegetable gardener, you should consider trying lettuce, which is one of the easiest to grow. You can even include it among your dormant perennials. Lettuce germinates quickly from seed, or you can buy transplants. Like Cheryl, you can seed cut and come again varieties every few weeks through February to snip off leaves for homegrown salads every night. All you need is fertile, well-drained soil in sun, but some shade's fine and even welcome when we get those hot days in late winter and early spring. Lettuce is a heavy feeder, so give it a drench or a foliar feed every few weeks. Going the organic route is great with seaweed and fish emulsion to add both macro and micronutrients. You should also lightly mulch to protect the leaves from direct contact from the soil where pathogens may be present. Since lettuce leaves are so tender, they can be easily invaded by soil-borne fungi and bacteria. You should also provide row cover or other protection if temperatures are expected to drop below freezing. To do in the garden this week, it's time to shop for bare root fruit trees, pecan trees, blackberries, and grapes that will arrive in nurseries soon. Be sure to get those in the ground as soon as possible so they can get busy making roots before the warm temperatures of spring. It's also time to purchase and plant your asparagus crowns. And if you have fruit trees, which are annually susceptible to insect and disease problems, you should preventatively spray them with horticultural oils to ensure against future problems. We'd love to hear from you. Please visit klru.org ctg to send us your question or a plant of the week from your garden. Mm -hmm.